Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 31. So today we're going to dive back into our training around the designs applet and specifically our design emails. Yesterday I showed you how to create one from scratch. Today we're going to show you how to make edits to a pre-made template, kind of showcase some of the templates that are available inside of designs. So let's go over to our designs applet, ninth one down, our paintbrush and palette icon. We're going to create a design and we're going to select email and then next, same process we went through yesterday. But yesterday we went to create a new template. Today, let's take a look at some of the templates that are already available to us. So let's say you're hosting an open house. You wanna share that with your database. I'm gonna click on the open house email template and then click on next. And that's gonna bring in sort of a pre-made template that's already ready to go for us to utilize with some edits, right? And now that you're familiar with the content blocks, and your layout shouldn't be that difficult. The first thing I would recommend doing, come in and change the title of this design. So let's just say that's open house, one, two, three, Main Street, and we're gonna do Saturday uh, 419. That way when it's in my designs library, I know which one is which. I definitely don't wanna send out the wrong email design on the wrong email campaign. The second thing I would do is preview it. So let's just take a look as built what it looks like. So you can see, right, it's got the legal header, it's got the information about the actual listing. We've got an image of our listing, the address, bedrooms, baths, square footage, and price. Then we've got the button to view the listing, two additional uh, images, and then sort of our legal uh, footer and, and close out there. So I can close this preview and I got some work to do. So when is my open house? My open house is this Saturday. So I'm gonna click on this text block and you can see I can come in. So it's gonna be Saturday, not June 1st, but April 19th. Uh, that's a really long open house. Props to whoever's holding five hour open houses out there, but that's not me. So we're gonna do one o'clock, definitely not AM, uh, one o'clock PM. And I actually like it to look like that to three o'clock PM. There we go. I've now made the edits. Uh, maybe I want this to be centered, right? You can kind of decide what you think. I like it centered, so I'm gonna change that. There we go, does that all look good? Yep, and I can click the back arrow and now my text box is ready to roll. Next up, I've got this image and it clearly says, hey, you want to replace this image. So I love that they use that as a thumbnail. I can click on replace and this then gives me images that I've already preloaded to my command account or I can go into listing images and then search for that specific listing. By the way, I can always change all listings to my listings and that should make it a little bit easier to find listings that I currently have. If I'm doing the open house on my own listing, I could utilize images from there. Uh, so definitely wanna replace that image. You may even, uh, I might suggest making it linkable. So go to your agent site, which we'll discuss later on in the challenge, but if you're already familiar, um, or maybe the MLS somewhere there, right, where you can pull the web address, that way someone can actually click on it and go to your site with your information about that property. Uh, once I've got that image replaced, I've changed that link. I would click the back arrow, that's all set. Now I'm gonna come down to the next text box. I'm gonna put in the actual property address. Then I would come back to each one of these text boxes, right, these four, and I would change the information there. Um, you can also see on the image wise, right, I, I'm kind of a, a centered kind of guy, right? So I'm gonna go back to centering each one of these little icons, I think that just looks better in my opinion. So we're gonna do that. And let's just pretend I have filled in all of those text boxes. I've now got my address, my bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, those are all correct. Now I've got a button, we covered that as well, right? So definitely wanna come in here and make sure you add a link because it says view listing and we want people to be able to click on that. So are you gonna send them to a web address or a landing page? We'll discuss landing pages as well in the future. Maybe I wanna change the color, make the button a little bit bigger, change the text color, right? Any of those kind of things, we went through that yesterday. Now we've got two additional images, so I'd go through that same exact process. So maybe this was you know, the front of the house and this is gonna be the kitchen and then this is gonna be the primary bedroom, something along those lines. Then you can see, again, we've got one more text box. Then we've got some additional fields that have already been pulled in for us, right? So our agent first, last, and designations. 
then our license number, agent phone, agent website. And you can see all of these are merge fields, which are gonna pull information off of your marketing profile. And if you wanted to include any of those additional ones, you certainly could. And then you've got the legal footer down here at the bottom with all of that information being pulled in. So one more time, we're gonna click on preview, make sure everything looks good the way that we've got it. And if that's good to go, then in that case, we would just save and close. Again, I might send myself a test email just to see what it looks like in my inbox, get it all ready, and then be ready to go. And guys, this process is exactly the same no matter which email template you're going to use. They look a little bit different, right? So you've got some work with me templates here that are pretty much just all text, but you could certainly come in and change some of the text, right? If you don't like this cartoony image, maybe that's your headshot or you know, a lifestyle photo of you at a house. Um, but information, you know, kind of all set up for you, ready to go for your use, um, especially if you're looking to generate new or additional business from people in your sphere, etc. Those emails are all great. Uh, finally, you've got some around, again, we talked about for sale and just listed, just sold in open houses, some additional buyer conversion and seller conversion emails, and then even one for Happy New Year, which we'll use seven to eight months from now. So. Uh, great content available, some great starting points. Yesterday you learned how to manipulate the, the blocks and how to add them and how to edit them. Today, how to kind of come into some of these self-made templates or pre-made templates, not necessarily self-made, but pre-made templates that can become self-made once you guys go in and make the edits to them. Um, pretty simple and easy process. Just remember, and in my opinion, make sure you're always changing the actual name for each one of those because if you do a lot of open houses, you wanna make sure that when it comes time to send out the campaign, which we will cover in a few days, you're selecting the correct design. Guys, that's it for today. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.